Prime Minister Modi and Maldivian President jointly inaugurated the new 11-story Ministry of Defence building in Maldives, that has been built with Indian assistance. US Secretary of State met with Pakistani Deputy Prime Minister, and he thanked him for Pakistan's partnership in countering terrorism and preserving regional stability. After crying for a ceasefire with India, the Pakistani government now wants to teach Russia and Ukraine about ceasefire and de-escalation. Indian security forces have seized 90 firearms and over 700 rounds of ammo and explosives in coordinated raids across five Manipur districts. A high-level Armenian military delegation is on a visit to India, to assess the locally built AK-203 rifle JVPC carbine and the Ashmi submachine gun. Hindustan Shipyard and Bharat Earth Movers Limited have signed an MOU to jointly develop next-generation marine and infrastructure systems. Indian Navy's 13,000-ton Project 80 Next Generation Destroyers will feature 144 vertical launch cells, that includes 32 for LRSAM, 48 for BrahMos to hypersonic missiles, and 64 for short-range surface-to-air missiles. Gujarat-based Prothapun Technologies has delivered 20 Gati FPV drones to the Indian Army, that will boost tactical strike capability with automated pin release mechanisms. Sensitive data from France's Barracuda-class SSBN submarines has leaked, potentially exposing stealth profiles reactor shielding and weapon systems. Naval Group has claimed that no intrusion has been detected despite a 13 GB data leak, and has launched investigations with French authorities. India's Ni Bay Limited has signed a technology transfer deal with Israel's Elbit Systems for the Pulse Precise and Universal Launch System, which is a 300 km range modular rocket system. Under the agreement, Nibe will manufacture and integrate Pulse in India, bolstering indigenous capability under Make in India. Israel's Rafale Advanced Defense Systems has confirmed that the Prachand Light Combat Helicopter can carry two 300 km range icebreaker missiles without compromising performance making it ideal for deep strike and long-range anti-ship missions. The Indian Air Force has recently received the icebreaker missile for evaluation, while the Indian Navy has also been offered the icebreaker and air LoRa missile for its MiG-29 K Rafale Marine and P-8I aircraft. As Russian President Putin's September 2025 visit approaches, speculation grows around India possibly finalizing a deal for the Su-57. However, military analysts have said that the F-35 remains in the conversation despite strained India-US ties under President Trump. India might demand a custom India-specific F-35 variant with key upgrades, that includes APG-85 ASA radar, next-generation adaptive engines, 300 km range AIM-260 Joint Advanced Tactical Missile, 925 km AGM-158 P Joint Air-to-Surface Stealthy Cruise Missile, 150 km AGM-154 C Joint Standoff Weapon, and 80 km Joint Direct Attack Munition Extended Range, and 110 km GBU-39 Small Diameter Bomb Mark II. The first structural test model of AMCA is set to be ready by 2027, and this non-flying model will be used for ground tests to check the strength durability and system integration. It will undergo stress fatigue and systems testing to ensure safety before any real flight, that will help test flight control software through simulations. The first flying prototype will be ready by 2028. Flight testing will start in 2029, and the final version will be ready by 2033 for the Indian Air Force. Today's top 3 comments.